Hey guys, Brony General here. We're back outside my house. About to go to the truck again. Because why not? I just love YouTube with this truck. It's great. I guess you could just say I love this truck in general. It's about eleven o'clock. I just woke up because I haven't I uh, stayed up to around four. Stupid me, I know. It's pretty bright out here. Yeah. Got this. Yes, I'm too lazy to get like the rhino spray bed. So I just use a piece of solid surface. Not even solid surface, plastic. It works, you know. Or not. This is locked. I forgot about that. Get off my truck. Ugh. Yes. Really nice truck. Uh, boy. As you saw on the drive around, this thing. No, I hit the gas, and this thing just like flies forward, and I barely hit the gas at all. And about the parking brake, I forgot to show it off last time. Wait, wait for it to focus. There you go. Look at this. That's that's on. That's off. Best parking brake ever. 10 out of 10. Got my keys here in case I want to start it or something. I come out here, see it, drive it around uh, pretty much every day. As I said, daily driver. I... No, I, it's like most people with a truck like this, you know, a 67 Dodge pickup truck, they would more than likely use it as like a classic vehicle, take it to shows and stuff. Not me. I don't care. It's a classic vehicle, but it was a it was a daily at one time, and yeah, it's not stopping now. It's it's my daily driver, and I like it. You know, people out here with their their new cars. Nah, I don't need no new cars. What are you talking about? I got my '67, and I look. Damn it! And I love it. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to show you some extra, just kind of little specs of this car, truck. Didn't want the door to only shut halfway. But yeah, it's a 318 cubic inch uh, cast iron block V8 with uh, cast iron headers. Uh, you know, pretty old setup. It's got a two core radiator and a two barrel barrel carburetor pretty standard got the um the just like cast log headers oh boy it's a really nice truck though i like it um i wouldn't honk these air horns you know right here but uh, see that part right there this i need to get a new compressor because that's the compressor it's broken and it did just makes the air horn sound here i'll show you what i mean by they sound terrible I'm going to go and hit them. See, that sounds beyond terrible. That just sounds... That just sounds ugly. That plane is flying off below. Wouldn't you say? Go away. I'm trying to freaking vlog here. <laughs> God. Jesus, that is flying low. Oh, there's an airport somewhat close to this. Oh, for a second, I thought it was in neutral. I started pushing it. I was like, oh, no, no. No. Well, at least it wouldn't be anything for it to hit. Curb, probably. <coughs> Still very loud to shut the hood. Yes. It's a really nice truck, I mean. I've always loved it. I had a truck before this one. It was also a 67 Dodge, but A, it was a short bed, and B, I did something terrible to it. Put a 440 big block in it. Worst mistake ever. It doesn't get that much more power with a 
440 and gas mileage goes down terribly. And even normally, this thing usually only gets around 8 to 10 miles a gallon, so yeah, this 440 is not beneficial to this truck. It's like, everybody thinks, oh, slap a 440 and it's going to be a race car. <clears throat> nope. Nope, the 318 is plenty for me. But yeah, it's a very nice truck and I love it dearly. Never gonna sell it. Yes. That smells. It's a great place for a gas tank. Easy to get to. Easy to siphon too, but oh well. Actually, with how much of an upper slope, because the gas tank in this truck is behind the it's behind the seat. Yeah, but no. Now see oh almost forgot to show you. Check out the this I've not seen another dodge package ever. It's like a gold it's a carrot gold plated freaking dodge thing. Well I don't know. I haven't seen another dodge like it. I don't know what it is. Oh god. What happened? You scratched out my truck. I'll have to find out. But uh yeah. Till next time I'll I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, Super Stream Sunday today. Don't forget.